Hey YouTubers, uh, it's been about three weeks since I've made a video. I've uploaded other stuff from Hal Lindsey and uh, uh, Glenn Beck. Everybody loves to bash him. <laughs> I don't get it, but um, just uh, I wanted to say I really appreciate the people that have checked up on me, and I'm I'm glad that you're uh, just seeing how I'm doing. I appreciate that. Uh, I guess just a, a rundown on some things that've been going on with me. Uh, we did have about a foot of snow that uh, had us buried here for about a week or so. It's still melting. It looks like a lot of it's uh, gone away in the past day or two. Uh, so I've been a bit of a homebody with that, but uh, still don't have a job. But I do want to say that you know this this last week of February it looked like it was really going to come down to crunch time, and it looked like uh, might come up short on some bills. Uh, you know, not not really short like I wouldn't get them paid, but you know, like we'd really have to uh, cut back severely. Uh, but I want to say that God's been good and uh, everything's getting paid. Haven't had a single bill late. Haven't had anything that uh, you know was like tooth and nail, like close to you know being not paid. Um, another cool situation: I had a uh, Bank of America credit card that I've had since like. 2003 and I was uh, listening to a lot of Dave Ramsey there for a while if, if you've got debt problems you should look that guy up De Dave Ramsey uh, has a fantastic book uh, he bases it on Christian principles um, you know but he uh, gives you a plan on how to get out of debt and stuff well that's my last credit card that I have I've uh, shredded everything else and paid everything else off so this card, I missed a payment back in uh, September, something like that. Well, my percentage, uh, my APR went from like, I want to say maybe 13%. And I think I had like a $14,000 limit or something. But, you know, I've had this card since 2003. I think it had 13% APR on it, which isn't fantastic, but you know, it could be worse. Well, I missed this payment, so they jacked my rate up to 27%. <laughs> so the uh, <clears throat> it's it's so crazy. Anybody that's got credit cards, you should really do the math on how much money you're losing. But you know, the minimum payment would be like a hundred and something dollars, and then the interest would be like 80. So the interest would eat up half of my payment, and then you, you're just spinning your wheels. You're not going anywhere. Well. I had some money sitting around from a truck that I sold. I'll even show you a picture of it because it was a sweet truck, but it was more than I needed. Um, so I used that money. I paid down the card. And uh, thank God, thank God, I went to the local bank that I bank with, and uh, they approved me for a bank loan. Even though I don't have a job, uh, they approved me for a bank loan and brought all that down to 11%. So... Uh, no more credit cards. I'm done with all that. Anyway, uh, I advise you to be done with all that, too. Uh, the Bible even says things about that. The uh, borrower is slave to the lender. Uh, anyway, thank God for all that. He's uh, you know freed me from that credit card. He's uh, provided when I didn't think there would be uh, uh, enough. <clears throat> well, I knew there would be enough, but I thought it would be close. But... Uh, We've been selling some junk on eBay, and God's been blessing that. Uh, even getting some crap out of the house. I used to play, like, Pokemon games and uh, Legend of Zelda, and those RPG games are full of witchcraft. So uh figured, hey, why not get those out of the house, too? Anyway, uh, what else can I tell you about while I'm here? I officially left my church uh, a week ago, and uh, I'll have to make a whole separate video on that because that's a whole different issue. Uh but it's because of compromise. Um, you know, if the uh, if the leadership of the church thinks that worldly things are acceptable, uh, you know, how can I sit under that person and uh, expect to be held accountable for things? You know, they they say that uh, we have church so we can hold people accountable. Well, when you allow things like that, you'll have to wait till I make the video. But sorry about the phone. Um, uh, <laughs> new phone, it's pretty sweet. Motorola Karma. Uh, don't like the name, but awesome phone. 
Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, anyway, um, compromising the church leadership. You know, if, you're, if your pastor is watching things like Twilight and thinks that it's cool and there's nothing wrong with it, uh, that's a red flag for me. I'm not saying I don't... You know, watch a watch a bad movie on accident. I I have the full ability to walk away, but to sit there and think that there's nothing wrong with it, uh, I'll I'll admit I'm not perfect. Uh, I make mistakes. I've seen movies that I shouldn't have seen. Uh, but when there's no red flag saying that, uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't be watching this. Maybe there's something wrong with this. And uh, you know, if one of my church congregants or people saw me here, what would they think? Anyway, another separate topic. Uh, I'll have to make that separate video. But just want to let you guys know how I'm doing. Uh, God's keeping me afloat, and without Him, I'd be sinking. I know that for sure. Uh, God's been good, always. Uh, there's uh, <clears throat> There's been some new dream videos popping up on YouTube, uh, especially about some details about what to expect during the tribulation and uh, I would like to not be here you know pre-trib and all that but you know if it doesn't happen then uh, we got to be prepared for anything Christians are giving their lives in you know other countries all over the world uh, all you got to do is get a subscription to Voice of the Martyrs or uh, you know Persecuted Church things like that and you'll see what's going on in the world um yeah, but we could be called to give our lives for anything. You can look through the news and just read about how Christians are being persecuted and killed uh, just for their faith and just for believing in Jesus. So, uh, regardless of your position on the rapture, we should be ready for anything. Uh, and that includes maybe stocking up on some food and uh, water and things like that because, you know, even the people in Haiti, uh, they're going through some bad things and... Uh, we're not in the tribulation yet. You know, they got to have provision. So, anyway, I think I've covered a lot. I uh, feel like I've kind of been all over the place, but I'll try and work on that other video, and uh, I'll uh, try not to be so disconnected from you guys. Uh, I know I've got a lot of new subscribers. I want to welcome you all, and I uh, hope you enjoy the channel. And, uh, there should be more to come. So, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I'll see you later.